Hey guys, so everyone's been asking me what type of fertilizer do I use for my peppers and tomatoes. Um, last year I grew some pepper plants and they grew pretty well, so everyone was curious what do I use. Um, do I stick with organic fertilizers or do I use chemical or something in between? I'll be honest, um, I've tried some organic fertilizers, but I end up usually using this stuff. Um, this is Master Blend. It is a 4-18-38 fertilizer, which means it has 4% nitrogen, 18% um, phosphoric acid or phosphorus and 38% um, potash, or I think it's just potassium. Um, it has a bunch of other little trace elements in here as well, like copper, boron, zinc, iron, you know, all this other stuff that I have no idea what that does for plants. I'm sure it does something good, otherwise I wouldn't put it in there, but. Um, <clears throat> I get this from Morgan County Seeds, you see right here. Uh, they're a little store in Missouri. Uh, it's pretty cheap. It's $12.20 for a five pound bag and this five pound bag will last you a really long time um, or at least it does for me. The only problem with this is that it only has 4% nitrogen so you need to supplement with this with something else. Um, so luckily Morgan County Seeds also sells this which is calcium nitrate. Um, that means it has 15.5% nitrogen um, which the, the master blend doesn't have. And then it also has calcium, and calcium is really important for <clears throat> peppers and tomatoes. Otherwise, you get blossom end rot. Um, so the calcium helps with that. So this is another thing we use. And then one other thing that I use is this stuff. Uh, good old cheap Epsom salt from, well, this one's from CVS, obviously. Um, this is like three or four dollars a bag, and you can pretty much get it in any store, whether CVS, Walgreens, you know, your supermarket. And the good thing about it is this bag will last you a really long time, <clears throat> just like the Master Blend. And if you really want a horrible time, it also works as a saline laxative apparently, which I hope to never have to use it in that way. And, um, you know, I buy a lot of this stuff, so I'm starting to think maybe the guys at CVS think I have some kind of weird problem. Never really thought about that, but oh well. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how I go ahead and mix the um, Master Blend and calcium nitrate and Epsom salt in a second. I just want to say that the <clears throat> so the ratio I use is three grams of Master Blend to three grams of calcium nitrate and two grams of Epsom salt for one gallon of water. Now I don't mix my um, fertilizers in one gallon containers anymore just because it takes too long. Um, I've got a lot of plants, so I use a five gallon container, which means obviously I have to multiply it by five. So this becomes 15 grams of Master Blend to 15 grams of calcium nitrate, and then obviously 10 grams of Epsom salt for eight or five gallons of water. So I'll go ahead and explain that to you and we'll show you the measuring process in a second. All right. Okay, so we've got a little gram scale here and we're gonna measure out how much fertilizer we need for the master blend calcium nitrate and Epsom salt. So per gallon of water, I like to use a 3-3 two mixture, um, that's three, three grams of master blend, three grams of calcium nitrate, and then two grams of Epsom salt per gallon. I don't make mine in one gallon batches, I make mine in five gallon batches just because I have so many peppers. So that obviously means 15 grams of master blend, 15 grams of calcium nitrate, and then 10 grams of Epsom salt. So I've already pre-measured these things out. Um, here's the calcium nitrate. Oh wait, I should probably turn on the scale first. Hopefully it kept the tear function. Yep. So that's 15 grams right there. Hopefully you can see that. Master blend should be 15 grams as well. And then the Epsom salt should be 10 grams. And this whole process takes you know a lot of back and forth with um, you know taking some out, adding some back in to get the proper amount of grams. And it's really a pain in the ass to be quite honest. So. The way I do it is, you know, I'll measure it out once, get a good idea of how much um, mixture I need. And using these little plastic containers, hopefully you can see this. Um, see if I can focus on that a little bit better. There we go. So a little black line there. Um, it's not completely level, but you want to do this on a level surface, make sure everything's, you know, as flat as possible. And then make a little mark there. And this mark just shows you where your fertilizer needs to be for that much, um, that many grams. I'll be honest, it's not completely accurate, but you know, if you're just going to do something, if you're going to do this on a regular basis for a lot of plants, this is the way to go. If you're off by a gram or two, honestly, um, I haven't seen any difference. 
in my plants. Like my peppers and tomatoes grow really well still. Um, this saves me a lot of time so I don't have to fiddle with the scale too much. I do it once and I'm done. And then after that I just depend on this method. I go ahead and mix, you know, take out some fertilizer, make sure it gets up to the line, and then mix away. So the way I mix this for a five gallon container is, you know, I mix my Epsom, um, my master blend first, and then I mix my Epsom salt, you know, put that in my five gallon container, mix it out, and then finally comes the calcium nitrate. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the exact reason for this, but I find that um, whenever I mix the calcium nitrate right after the master blend, and then putting the Epsom salt, I get some little white crystals and I don't know if it's the Epsom salt or the calcium nitrate that's come out of suspension and they never really mix out properly. When I mix the Epsom salt after the master blend, everything works out perfectly. And I think someone mentioned that there's some kind of nutrient lockout going where I guess the chemicals come out of suspension and you know the plant doesn't have accessibility to everything. So I don't know how that works. It's been a long time since I've done chemistry but I found this is the method that works for me. So again, 15 grams of master blend, 15 grams of, well, 10 grams of Epsom salt, and then 15 grams of um, calcium nitrate in that order for five gallons of water. And if you wanna see how my peppers grow, grew, or grew from last year, go ahead and check out my other videos. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. And I'm just happy to share this with you guys. So y'all have a good one.